gonna quickly show you some stuff from the row because the row is very quiet, luxury, understated elegance. Look at this stunning little clutch over here. Love this piece with a little belt detail. There isn't a strap though, so you do have to just hold it like a clutch, but it is such a beautiful piece. And then this one, look at that. You see, the row for some people might be boring, but I just think like, imagine holding this. This just elevates an all black outfit, an all white outfit, spring outfit, and you have this incredible piece. Look at the leather detail. It's kind of like an aged calf skin. I love the size of this. This is such a cool piece. And then this over here, beautiful bag. We've got Cricket here resting. He's a little bit tired. <laughs> And then we've got these great pieces over here. This one is such a cute little, kind of like a hobo style bucket bag. The color is amazing. It's like a suede, um, or more like a new buck. Similar to a suede, but actually more um, hard wearing than a suede. So this is actually such a great piece. The lemon yellow. And look at this tote. This to me is, this reminds me of the Celine uh, to Phantom totes, but this is way better in my opinion. Um, and the leather is so pretty. This is just like a great catch-all. You look so elegant. Again, like an all linen outfit, monochrome. Such a great piece from the row. Okay, I wanna show you some Alaya. So Alaya is known for their dresses and their perforations, um, but their new collection, you see a lot of these bigger bags and I'm sorry is there anything like oh, I can just picture these great outfits and then holding this amazing oversized bag this will fit everything you need it's suede line it's beautiful let's see the price point 2900 but it is so good especially in this little off-white color they have it in the smaller size but this bag to me it only works in this big oversized size it's great i really really like that there's some brunello cuccinelli over here um they've got this little backpack top handle bag this is a beautiful piece over here from brunello cuccinelli they were doing a lot of sequins for their uh, recent collection that i saw in milan i did a brunello cuccinelli vlog in milan if you guys are interested in that i will link it down below but yeah they've got these great little earth tone clutches over here it's not really a brand that excites me but again it's the whole quiet luxury type of brand um and then over here we've got i believe this is maria olive oliver and um yeah again doesn't excite me the way some of the other things that i've shown you have excited me such as this alaya bag which i mean i adore this i think it's so great over here, we've got some beautiful little Bottega pieces. I find with Bottega, I really love the oversized woven leather, like their traditional one, which I'll, I'll show you a piece in a second, is beautiful as well. And the colors they do are so vibrant, like this blue is stunning. We've got, I know I always say this, but look at these little puzzle bags, they're great. And I actually now, it's funny because I kind of prefer these uh, traditional puzzle, uh, uh, what are they called? Traditional cassette bags, not puzzle bags, versus the puffier ones. I used to love the puffy ones, but now I'm really interested in the flatter ones. I just think they look 2023 20, versus the other ones are a little bit dated. Let me show you real quick. They've got this great bag over here with the handle. Love the big old handle lots of bigger bags and of course they still have the jody the mini jody lots of great colors and this is what i meant like this is the smaller woven traditional leather which is beautiful but i just i love the thicker one uh, something about it is beautiful this great little crossbody bucket bag i'll tell you the price point since it's out 1800 not a terrible price point when you see how they've just raised the prices across the board for every single brand. Um, but yes, and then this one, look at the leather on this and the vibrant color. Again, it's so, so beautiful. Look at this great bag. I love the mirror detailing on that. And the texture is so pretty. 
We've got the little Loewe logo over here. And this is a uh, lambskin, super supple. I just like how uh, different this is. So this strap, it's kind of the way Louis Vuitton has uh, the strap on the Neo Noé. You can make this longer, you can make it shorter, which is great. They have this beautiful little basket one, which is very Loewe. And then look at the great colors here. Adorable little Loewe elephant. I always think their basket bags are just like the quintessential, quintessential, can I not pronounce things? Quintessential <laughs> summer basket bag. They're so good. I love the yellow on here. Very bright. This one's a great shape over here. I can't pronounce things even in English, but that's okay. So pretty. And let's see. This is a new Loewe piece with the chain. I have to be honest, I'm not a fan of the chain, but they do have it like this, and this is incredible. If anyone knows the name of this bag, let me know. Sometimes Loewe doesn't name their bags, but they often do like their hammock bag, their puzzle bag, um, but this one is so pretty. Don't you agree? Like, this looks better versus with the chain, it's just, it's not as like contemporary modern versus this is just, feels very, I don't know, it's the more minimalism, it's, it's beautiful, I love this one, it's gorgeous. And they've got the little mini puzzle bags over here, this great taupe one, these are great too, you can kind of hold them like a little clutch, the color's very pretty, very 70s. We've got the little mini one in purple, and then the bigger size over there. And then one last Loewe puzzle bag. Look at this one in snakeskin. The color is incredible. I mean, I love that khaki green color and the texture on it is so pretty. They also have these great oversized totes, which are super chic. I love those. I wanted to show you quickly a little bit of Goyard. Goyard is very classic. You know, they've got their trunks. They've got, this is actually pretty interesting. I wouldn't have it with the scarf, but this is actually pretty cool, pretty neat. And then they've got their little mini totes, which I quite like these little totes. You? They kind of fit everything in it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Hansa. How are you? I'll show you some of the new Saint Laurent bags. This one is so unique. It's got a little chain strap. I love the opening of it with these little clasps. There's this little round one. And then they've got these little, um, what do you call them? Little totes in the wrapping material. These ones up here. I wanted to show you this Saint Laurent leather jacket. It's amazing. I love the croppedness of it. It's just such a pretty piece. It retails for 7,000 US. And yeah, there's a lot of amazing Saint Laurent ready to wear pieces. This trench is unbelievable. And then the same with this gorgeous dress. I like the ruching details of that. Okay, let me show you some of the new Celine collection. This is one of their newer pieces. It's very, how would I say it? I wouldn't call it even classic. It's kind of, there's a difference between being basic and classic. Classic I adore, I love. This, it's okay, but I don't know. It's okay. It's a great bag. The pink is beautiful. This little vanity case, I love that. And then look at these cute little bucket bags. The colorways on these are so good. Oh, I love this. So perfect for spring, pastels. They've got these great little compact wallets. Love the lemon yellow. It's beautiful. These pouches, you see, I don't love the black one with the gold chain, but this one, very chic. Again, I'm not huge on the Celine. Uh, branding like having Celine written out. I love the Triumph logo. I like the understatedness of Celine. That's what Celine's all about. So I do adore the Triumph logo, but I don't love it when they have the actual word Celine plastered on it. I've said that many times. Um, like for example, these totes. These are their Cabas totes. These have been around for you know years and years and years. They're so chic, so understated. They're also like a pretty good price point, and they just have a little mini Celine. That's good. Like that's what Celine has always been about, but just having the name across the bag, that's not 
what the brand was about. So I don't know, for, for me it's very confusing when I see that and it makes me a little bit sad for Celine because they're supposed to be a super understated brand and the logo mania I'm not a big fan of. But with that said, one of my favorite brands, if not my favorite brand is Celine, from their coats to their blazers. I mean, their classic box bag is my favorite, which I don't see. I'm pretty sure you can still purchase the classic box bag, but they're obviously pushing more of the Triumph bags, which are essentially the same bag, but just with this logo. Very chatty today, you guys can notice. Um, love the box calf leather, and the smooth calf skin, the suede, and this deep brown is so pretty. We have this one over here. So this is an untreated, calf leather as you can see it does get quite scratched up but that's the beauty of the leather it's kind of the point of this i think they call it berenia leather at hermes but it's an untreated leather um and if you want a pristine bag that doesn't get scratches then you avoid this at all costs this gorgeous white one is so gorgeous and then we've got some of their cabas totes over here this one has the flap and this one has no flap a great tote but i prefer the one that i showed you before their classic one that they've had for years this one is so pretty and this material the super pale baby pink is so beautiful and they also have it in the cute little mini size oh and then this is the rami bag see this is this is what i mean this is so celine oh mine's one and a half okay, so cute. Um, so as I was saying, this over here is the Rami, and you see it's so understated. I just think this looks so good on the arm. It looks great worn versus this. I'm sorry, I just, it's not what the brand's about. It's so weird. But um, this I love, and especially in this color. I can't say that more than probably a dozen times. Here it is in this really pretty taupe color. And that's going to wrap it up for Celine. We've got some Prada over here. These are some new pieces from Prada. The leather looks beautiful. It's like a nice thick grained leather. And then I am going to quickly show you a little bit of Prada, just a little overview. This little one over here. This one's really pretty, especially in this color with the gold hardware. I like that. And then, oh, this one over here with the buckle. I actually really like this. Mimu is doing a very similar one. And of course their headbands. I love the pink rotten one. I always love the Prada hair accessories. They've got amazing hair accessories. Like what a dream. Imagine a whole Prada outfit with these. I love the, the cream. So beautiful. I really like that a lot. Here's a brand that is really a nice contemporary brand. It's called Boy, B-O-Y-Y. -Y. They make really interesting, unique bags, pretty good price point, and it's a little bit something different. They're known for their big buckle. Usually this buckle is on most of their items, um, but yeah, it's a nice little brand if you're looking for something more contemporary. There's some Fendi over here. This is their new Peekaboo, the longer version. We've got this one, this great camel. And then check out the Fendi first over here. This one's beautiful. It's got some snake skin on the handle. I love like the dark chestnut brown color. And in patent and silver, it really pops. We've got this bright color, which is so much fun, especially with the silver hardware. And as you can see, there's some baguette bags. There's some nylon bags over there. Some furry ones. Another patent one. The patent just makes it so it's fun you know it might not be something for me but i definitely appreciate it these cute little baguettes with the top handle and then i do love that is an ostrich fendi first bag very pretty i'll do a quick little overview over here so you can see some of their baguettes and some of their peekaboos so over here we've got this great little bottega bag again you can shorten the strap make it a little bit shorter or longer. I love the woven leather. It's beautiful. There's also this beautiful little Loewe pouch. Again, super soft the leather. And this gorgeous dress. I think this is Valentino, but I am not 100% sure. I'm pretty certain it is though. Got this cute little Valentino bag and Aquazura shoes over here. Some Dior. There's this new patent green color, which is a lot of fun. Same with this other lady Dior behind it. 
they have a lot of amazing summer colors right now. This little purple one, love how vibrant this one is, very pretty. And as we can see, there's so much beautiful ready to wear. This piece over here, lots of florals. This sweet little top. These little ones over here, look how nice the acrylic candle is for that. And the little Christian Dior sweaters. They've got the little new size of the Joy bag. I prefer the classic Joy size. Um, but yes, there's so many great pieces for their spring summer collection. These little shorts over here. So pretty. There's also this little denim two-piece from Dior with a skirt and look at this beautiful t-shirt over here. It's actually not a t-shirt, it's a long dress, but I love the ruffle detailing on the arms. And then look at this great little blazer piece. That's wonderful. And the denim also for bottoms, they also have pants. Okay, I'm going to show you some Laura Piana. They've got their classic shoes over here. This color is really pretty. I love how like it's like a dusty lavender. It's got the silver hardware and it retails for 1,025. So the price point on these, if anything, they're even less than a lot of other luxury brands. These little ones are pretty neat. And the mule style, I feel like are the most flattering. Um, let's see, there's the brown. I don't see any color that I really, really like but these are very popular and they retail for $980. Sorry about the camera work. And then they've got these ones over here. These are the Laura Piana sneakers. And that's pretty much it for Laura Piana. They've got the rain boots, those little mules over there. So over here is a brand some people told me about. It's called Balextra. They make beautiful handbags and I actually really like this one. It's pretty neat. They've got always these little numbering, not always, but most of their bags. This is the brand, let me show you. And again, very understated. They've got it in cream, this little seal gray color. And here are a few of their other pieces up there, some top handle bags. Love this green over here. But yeah, great brand. I do have to say, I kind of like these little bucket bags. They're nice. Epic. Epic.